welcome back to the Sinking City. Last time we figured out we need to go to... Eel Street over here, specifically in this building, because it's marked on the map. Um, so we're going to head over there, and we are facing the right direction. So let's head over here. We'll jump in the boat. And we'll hang a right. One more corner. Dang, man, they're going at it. <laughs> Just clobbered them. Okay, so let's heal up first. Make sure we're all loaded up here. Um, let's go with the shotgun. I get the pl feeling this place isn't going to be too friendly. Okay. Okay. Oh, didn't even see it. Stocking us up on ammo here, so I'm expecting something to go down. Gunpowders. Hi there, Billy. Gotta say, I liked you more last time we met. Same to you, pal. Heard you might be coming, but hoped you wouldn't. So how about this? Leave now, and I pretend you weren't here. Why did you need the buyers anyway? What do you get out of it? There are... powerful entities in this Borg. You should know better than to question their affairs. So you best get out while I'm asking politely, Charlie boy. Billy, I want no trouble for either of us. Byers did what he was asked, so it's time you do your part. For the last time, move along. I already saved your life once. Consider this number two. I get attached to people I save it. Bit of a weakness. But understand this, Charles. I'd hate to kill you, but if I have to, I will. Billy, holding a family hostage doesn't suit you. Let them go, and we both walk out in one piece. 
It's not gonna work out that way. There's a reason the buyers are here. <clears throat> when the time comes, we'll set them free. Hmm. Sorry, Billy. This is bigger than both of us. May the best man win. So this is how it ends, eh? I hoped you might be dead. All right, let's go. It's a shame you'll die here, Reed. This city has far worse men than you. Oh, crap. Okay, go, 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 go. Wow, really? That's it? This one was the shotgun shells. No. Well, that was exciting. Ah, there. Shell casings. Gotcha. Oh, we could have just... I guess they expect you to just jump out. Ah, you got wrecked. Nerd. Barked up the wrong tree, you idiot. On reviving the long dead, steps to return spirits of the long dead ones to corporeal life. Essential salts. Copy the formulae from uh, the Borellus grimoire. Her Adonai invocation should be recited f for several hours. Search for exact wording through the works of Peter Dapono. Okay, this is... Yeah, it devolves into gibberish. <laughs> Combine together and present to Hill crossed out. Just give him the books and hints. Let him find everything on his own. Hmm. Map and coordinates. A map and accompanying piece of paper with written coordinates 47 degrees 9 minutes south, 126 degrees 46 minutes west. Or 43 minutes west. What the hell? Everything I've faced since coming to this city is on this map. What the hell? 
Everything I've faced since coming to this city is on this map. Sketchy notes of Feckend Mother's Young. Things to be told to Graham of their intellectual abilities, similar to those of a three-year-old child, but will continue to evolve mentally. Uh, will perform simple orders immediately after brought to life, understanding the complex and understanding of complex complex sentences will come later of nutrition though expendable they are living beings and require chemicals to sustain optimal level of functioning give potassium and cod liver oil it's good for their issues we'll ask for sugar do not give <laughs> don't give them sugar man they'll be bouncing off the walls General care, not to expose to direct sunlight right after birth. Their fibers are not yet firm and may decompose easily. Interesting. Carefully folded letter. Mr. Drunnen, your proposal proved too tempting to resist. I will tell the police whatever you need, though in return I will require some assistance on my election campaign. Ah, okay. That's why. Old key. Nothing else stacked in this corner? I got it, Billy. We'll make sure no one from the expedition gets back to shore. And if anyone slips through, I've got just the guy to handle it. Goes by, goes by the name of Lewis Flynn. Very obedient, will do everything he is told to. Provide him with detailed instructions. Yours, A. Who's A? Okay, so this is just like a list of people. So you have Barry Morgan, a uh, fisherman, disturbed by Innsmouthers catching all the fish. You have Luther Merritt, uh, daughter, graped and killed. Guilt of EOD members unproven. Wallace Rose, injured in a fight with Innsmouthers. George Cavendish, name circled in red. Interesting. Wife joined EOD. Bore a child that wasn't his. Not surprised. Kenneth Harvey saw Innsmouthers stealing from him. Delaney Jensen, son disappeared in the shells. Blames Innsmouthers. There's a lot of stuff in this room, man. These pictures hanging here are repeats. Okay, well, let's see what else we got around here. Oh, thank you, mister. I... I thought they'd kill us. I... I don't know how we can ever repay you. Who... who are you? You look... I'm a private eye. And your father's worried about you, too. Father? Is he okay? Did you see him? He's fine, but this isn't over yet. Do you have somewhere you could hide out for a while? Um, yeah, yeah, sure. We'll stay at Aunt Peg's. What's going on? Your father and I have a matter we need to deal with together. He'll explain everything when he can. Okay, okay. Please, mister. Take care of him. He's a good man. I'll try. I've got to go. Thank you for saving us, sir. Oh, boy. All right, all evidence collected. Have you... <clears throat> have you come to save us? Have you... Have you come to save us? Pretty much, yeah. You guys are free to go. Okay, so that's clear. Um, so we can get rid of this. Uh, let's clear out the lore in here. Just out of curiosity, 47, 47 south, 126 west. There's no coordinates on the map, is there? 
Well, that would have been fun to look up. Okay, so... Let's go back to Glen. Um, we're gonna go... This way, because I feel like it's quicker. We don't have to jump in the boat this way. You know, it's a completely different style of gameplay, but I have to say this again. The way the music comes in here and the overall atmosphere in this game, you I get such bad Blasphemous vibes. Not Blasphemous 2. Specifically Blasphemous, the original Blasphemous that came out. And that's not a bad thing at all. Blasphemous is such an awesome game. We'll have to play it sometime. I mean, we've played through the, the second one on the channel. The first one, I think, is decidedly harder. In my opinion, at least. Okay, so we're gonna go... Uh, where was Glenn? Right there. Man, people out here just slugging on each other. Oh. Hello, supplies. Is it? Was this it? Oh, it's a finger! Still has a wedding ring on. What kind of monster does that? There's a note in the envelope. It seems like you're reluctant to do the job. Here's a little something to motivate you. Get on with it. Really? Was that still not it? There used to be some writing here, but it's been washed off. At least your family is safe now. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, my sister-in-law just called to say Evelyn and Michael got there safely. I owe you everything. What happens now? Uh, should I turn myself in? First things first. You need to write a confession. It's your word against the witness. Uh, okay, I I'll take it over to the police station immediately. No, just give it to me. And the murder weapon. You still have it, right? Yes, sir. Here's everything. Good man. I'll go clear things up. I suggest you make the most of your time before the coppers come knocking. I'll get going. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, it seems like you are reluctant. Okay, we, we read that already. Uh, the gun that killed Johannes Vanderberg. A bolt, a bolt model D. I can use it to free myself from charges if I present it to Carpenter's Taskmaster as evidence of someone else's guilt. And then we got the confession. I, Glenn Gordon Byers, current resident of Oakmont, Mass, confess to the murder of Johannes Vanderberg and voluntarily surrender myself to the hands of the Oakmont police. I accept any due punishment, uh, though can only hope for your understanding and mercy in light of my circumstances. Now that Byers doesn't have to worry about his wife and son, he will confess to you uh, that he killed Vanderberg. Byers' gun was the murder weapon. It directly implicates him in the crime. Whoever is found with this gun will be implicated in the murder. It could be, it could be planted to frame someone else. Oh, let's go. Can we, can we frame the fat man? Milton Pierce tried to frame me, so I'm returning the favor. If I plant the gun among his bloody clothes... And take a picture, Mr. Carpenter should consider it su uh, sufficient evidence against him. I like... I what am I to do now? I like this turn of events.
I can make buyers voluntarily confess, plus if I bring a uh, carpenter his guilty plea, it may lessen his punishment. I can then use the letter I found at Billy Drennan's hideout to prove that Pierce, uh, that Pierce's testimony against me is false. I like this outcome better. I like this outcome much better. The guy's such a dirty sleazeball anyway. Um, I do kind of want to go see what the deal is with this with this guy's uh, mother, though. Like, if, if things are going to, like, just completely kick off if I go there. Did we collect all the evidence here? Oh, crap! I don't understand how you're supposed to fight those things in close quarters like that. This game is so weird. Like, why did the dude just start shooting? Okay, come at me, bro. We got you this time. Come on. Oh, crap. Okay, let's make sure we're all loaded up. Oh, okay, never mind. Um... Let's go with this. so close to a skill point. I'm wrecked, you nerd. I mean, 
that was a win in my book. We don't got we don't have any grenades left, but <laughs> it's still a win in my book. I hate those guys so much. I don't understand how you're supposed to fight them in like a closed space like this. Where'd the trap go that was up there? Okay, we got more rags, so let's see. Can we make another one? No, we don't have enough. I mean, like, what else are we missing here? I've looked literally everywhere. Now that sends shivers down the spine. Okay, well, we'll give the main floor here a once-over again. <gasps> Someone must have had a hard fall here. But I'm not him. That's a rare spirit. They're lucky to have a bottle from before Prohibition. Congratulations on your wedding from Sister Peg. What? 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 What am I to do now? There used to be some writing here, but it's been washed off, at least partially. Yeah, there's like, there's literally nothing else to look at here. Old but clean and shiny. That's definitely been taken good care of.
Joy is really cute here. I wish I could hear her sing. Grape silk and lace. Must have been a pretty dress before it was torn. Seems like everywhere I go lately, I find blood. Yeah, no, I have no idea. There's literally nothing else to look at. Okay, well, let's go see what the deal is with the, uh... Idiot's mother. Um, we are gonna go to... You know, I kind of almost don't even want to bother. Because, really, we just have to go back to, uh... Um... Where was it? Over here? Oh, no, it was up here. Yeah, we just gotta go into his basement and plant the, uh, the clothes there. Let's get it. Or plant the gun in his clothes, not plant the clothes. We don't need to do that. Oh. Okay. Closest is... Here. <clears throat> I'm, I'm definitely not doing any favors for that sleazy politician. Uh, we're going the right way? Yes. Literally straight. Crap. Bro, were you actually going to go in there? you doing bro what even happened why did i get attacked what what more importantly why are we back at the asylum this game is so janky oh my god
I don't understand why it puts us all the way back over here. Well, at least we have our grenades back. I'm confused. You know, things in this game were going too well for too long. Or is it just the closer you get to the end of the game, the jankier it gets? Um, let's go on. We'll stick on the shotgun for now. Let's see, did we aggro these idiots still? No. You know, the enemies in this building, they're annoying. Someone got changed here in a hurry. They definitely kept some dirty clothes here. You can see the blood splatter.
Hey, can we get our sanity back anytime soon? Does it just not refill when you're moving? I am so confused. Whoops. Is that a big time big boy that's down there? This sanity meter is really starting to irritate me. Holy crap, man. Did he just not come up here or something? All right, let's go through the wall. This game is so janky, it's insane. Let's do that. All right, let's go. Okay, so, uh, I've got the photo of Milton Pierce's bloody clothes with the murder weapon. I have to show it to the carpenter taskmaster as evidence of his guilt. Should be enough to prompt the police to search his manor, then charge him with the murder instead of me. Do this.
Where's the music coming from? Hey, knock it off. Then take a hike, bro. Okay, so let's go um, see the carpenter guy. That was so much more of a hassle than it needed to be. Those big enemies, though, whoever designed those, they need to be fired. They're horrible. Because, like, you can't fight them in, in like, a, a reasonable way. Because, like, as soon as you get near those big enemies, they just, like... Um... Well, I mean, first of all, your sanity meter goes absolutely ballistic. Do they, they do insane amounts of damage. I have proof that it was Milton Pierce that killed Johannes Vanderberg. Show me what you've got. The murder and they take a ton of damage. And a pile of bloody clothes. Here's a photograph. I don't know how you managed to pull this off, Reed. But it's impressive work. We'll take it from here. Accusing a mayoral candidate of murder is an interesting challenge, but the Carpenter family has tackled worse. Bye. Ooh, did we get our skill point? Yes, sir! Ten more submachine gun rounds would be fun. I'm not really too... I don't really care too much about those. The alternative is 15% chance to save materials. Um... You know, let's get the shotgun spread. Why not? Don't you have work to do? Charity work. Ugh. Something wrong. Something wrong. Something wrong. You sound different, dude. Something wrong. Um, so what are we supposed to do? There's definitely an otherworldly presence near Carpenter's house. I can feel it in the air. Okay. Oh, there's a thing. I didn't even see that there. You've been doing a great job, Mr. Reed. I'm waiting for you at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Okay. Hotel it is. Um, I feel like that's close, eh, right? Oh, no, that's way down there. Uh, and there's a payphone right out in front, so... Okay. With the payphone, we'll zip over there. We'll do our thing. See what uh, Spoopy Ghost Man wants. Oh. No, I didn't want to do that. I want to go to the Devil's Reef. We haven't been back here in a while, so... It'd be nice to get back here.
Whoa! In sad news for many at Oakmont University, beloved scientist Harriet Doe has passed away. The professor of archaeology was found washed up at Comshore Marina by a passerby. The Oakmont Chronicle would like to express our sincere condolences to everyone who knew and loved Harriet Doe. Oakmont will mourn the loss of a mind with few peers. That's a nice way of saying she was really smart. How is this possible? At last, Mr. Reed. I heard about your recent case. Let me congratulate you. You've truly outdone yourself this time. A question, if I may. I've got a question. How on earth are you still alive? What can I say? Perhaps next time you should make sure you finished the job. <laughs> it wasn't me and you know it. All this. All I went through, and there was no murder to begin with. The prosecution would beg to differ. They had all they needed. A victim, a method, and a culprit. The rest is just bells and whistles. You set me up. You son of a... I only set the scene. I'll... What? Kill me? As amusing as it would be to see you charged with my murder a second time, I'm afraid we have more pressing matters. What do okay, you mean? and you can do them you by know yourself. You exactly what I mean, Mr. Reed. The prophecy. The seal. You have made yourself a part of something momentous. Now, to your latest case. Wonderful execution all round. And I mean that literally. The hanging has been scheduled for next week. Tell me, Mr. Reed, why did you do it? Why condemn a man of such high station for a crime he did not commit? He testified against me and conspired to have his mother killed. Indeed. His corruption was common knowledge, yet you were the only one who acted upon it. Regardless, I shall call this experiment a success. In fact, you should consider it a taste of your ultimate trial. I don't know. Can I smack him now or later? What do you get from all this? You are headed into the darkness, Mr. Reed. I'm giving you the experience you'll need to find your way through it. What do you mean, my ultimate trial? What does this have to do with anything? <laughs> of course. Everything. It's your destiny. Destiny beyond comprehension. To be more than a speck of cosmic dust. To make waves across the universe. To end things. And what? Everything. You've suffered in this city from the very beginning. From the moment you were born, in fact. Wanting to end it is only natural. But unlike those untold millions before you, you have the power to do so. You can turn mere prophecy into absolute truth. You don't mean... The seal of Kotiganar is in your hands. You possess the key to the gates, and all they hold within. You can close them, and cling to mankind's misery for a few more cruel centuries. Or you can open them and end it. And you will do the latter. I will do as I see fit. Why? Why would I destroy everything? Because otherwise your life amounts to nothing. Do you know how many chosen few there have been over the centuries? Nameless hordes, sacrificed at the whim of invisible masters. Not unlike those who watered the poppies of Flanders with their 
blood. But our sacrifices mattered. We won the war. A war with many yet to come. This is your kin's nature, your purpose to suffer. Your monkeys in an open cage, unwilling to walk out. Only you can make a difference. You can end it all for good. Johannes, you're vile. There is nothing more vile than futility. Watching this happen again and again and doing nothing. We are the agents of change, Mr. Reed. You're wrong. I'll prove it. You will prove nothing. You'll die. And at the next turn of the cycle, another will come along who is brave enough to finish the job. Nevertheless, I cannot abandon you, whether you agree with me or not. Your path is too important. Even okay, so when do we get to club this guy? Is beyond my control. You're right about one thing, at least. There is an archaeologist in this city. He is very close to unraveling the secret of Katigana. Good for him. And you'll need his help to get inside. His name is Joseph Hill. Here's his address. Talk to him. Earn his favor. Seriously? All that, and you don't even know how to find Katiganar? <laughs> if I knew that, would I be working with a private eye? This is wrong, Johannes. All of it. And I still have no idea why I should even believe you. The truth is the truth. Whether you believe it or not, you can accept it. Or try to put the blindfold back on. It doesn't matter. Farewell, Charles. Whether we speak again or not, I will be watching. And don't lose the seal again. Or all your effort in this city would go to waste. I'm really, really sick of that guy. <laughs> Crew of the s Okay, so we're going to look in Reed Heights. On Lum Lumbert, this one. Oh, literally right there. Okay, so one street over from where we were last last case. I'm so confused. It's literally the same thing. We need to find some rags. want to stay gangster yeah whatever okay so um let's get out to the phone booth
Seriously? Could you not have done that sooner, game? Oh, he's gone. You just like melt into the floor? Uh, King's robes. Sure, let's take the brown suit. Okay. Politician executed. Oh, man. They went hard on that. The murder of the famous mystic Johannes Vanderberg has been solved. As unlikely as it may sound, the killer appears to be one of Oakmont's most prominent political figures and top mayoral candidate Milton Pierce. Neither money nor status could help Mr. Pierce escape the law despite his uh, protestations of innocence. Justice was served and Mr. Pierce was executed by hanging yesterday. Wow. Man, that escalated quickly. What will happen to the election race and who else may decide to throw their hat in the ring? Only time will tell. Wow. Okay. Let's zip back over this way. And we will, I think, call it a day here for now. And next time we'll go see if we can find this hill guy, which I think this has something to do with, um, there was some notes that we found in the lore. Um... There was... Was it in documents? There was a thing that we had found. I don't know if it was part of, like, the specific case thing, but... Yeah, there it is. Combine together and present to Hill. Which I'm assuming is this same, uh, where, what's his name? Joseph Hill. I don't know. I guess we'll find out, though. So, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like these, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And until next time, thanks for watching.